Well, I took a little trip out yesterday to my bug out spot, as you know, and my mora did fared me nicely. I was hacking up wood, cutting it down a lot. Um, my folding saw fared quite nicely. Yeah, that's quite battered and bruised. But my mora held up nicely up until I went outside into the back garden and I've lost a tip. <laughs> I've damaged the tip in the back garden. Yeah, out in the woods, the most extensity of the damage that I did was that. Oh, fucking hell, missus, that stinks. <laughs> well, I was in the back garden five minutes anyway, and that's the extensity of the damage I've done in five minutes. Took the tip off, and made the tip of the blade kind of serrated now. It's blunt, and we'll do the sharpness test for you. Blunt as mutton now. See? It's not even a clean cut. I tried and tested this. Yeah, the blade's still intact, but I've took the tip off. It's blunt as a mutton. And what's clean about that? Okay, the reviews I've been watching on YouTube about where Moras are concerned. Granted, they've all been regarding different Mora blades and the higher end of the Mora, Mora blades, but this is the basic Mora blade. And it fared nicely in the woods, but <laughs> in a back gar in a urban back garden. No, it doesn't fare nicely at all because I took the tip off it and did that to it and it's blunt. But I really tried and tested it yesterday in the woods and nothing, just a few blemishes. And that little scuff there that you see right now. Well, I'm going to have to get a sharpening stone onto that. And jobs are good and again.